you too, you too, what's up man? It's your boy TV in the Bible. Back at y'all with another haircut this morning. Today I find three K nineteen the high temperature. Getting up in his corners, but he don't want no enhancements. So we're gonna jump right into this man. We already get him crispy. And in order to start this haircut off, we go ahead and we put our one and a half guard on with our wall premium guards. And we got our lever all the way closed and we just laying this head down, man. And then in order to start off this temp, we're going to go ahead and put our ball line in. And I keep this guideline, I'll keep all my guidelines in this haircut as low as possible. But I still want it to be a high temp. But I don't want to go up too high because I want to leave the front of the hairline as dark as possible. So when I shape him up, it still look crispy because he's not getting no enhancements. And on top of it, he's receding up in the corners. So I just want to keep that shape up area as dark as possible. And our next guideline was the lever halfway open. Then we blend it out with the lever closed, but it didn't blend it all the way out so we go back in with our trimmers and go ahead and blend out that bottom line our next initial guideline man is going to be our one guard all the way close and we're going up probably about a quarter of an inch like i said before in my previous videos the length and how high you go up on these temps depends on the head shape the head structure uh, the way the shape up is, what kind of shape up they want, do they want enhancements? So, you know, it all varies. And then to blend that line out, we went ahead and put our half guard on close. And then we took the half guard off, opened the lever all the way up. And now we're just playing with the lever, trying to knock out them dark spots. Now we go ahead and go in with our number two guard all the way close, blending out the bark of the hair. Then we put our one and a half guard on all the way close, right underneath where we left off at with the two. And then we go ahead and put our one guard on all the way open, right underneath where we left off at with the one and a half. We're going to close our level all the way. And then we put the one guard on and open the level all the way. And we're just going to use the corner of the blade to soften up some of them dark spots up in the bulk of the hair. Right here, we're just detailing. And then we put our half guard on, level all the way open. Lever close. And 
and that's our taper and what you do to one side you do to the next so I went ahead and sped this side of the clip up so you didn't have to just sit and get bored with the haircut so the steps are exactly the same ball line then we put our lever halfway blend it out with the lever close and we put the trimmers on it to blend out the bottom line all the way and we're going with our one guard closed all the way and then we're going to put our half guard on all the way close and blend out that next guideline and then we take it off lever all the way open and lever play just do some detail work and put our number two guard on and blend the bulk of that hair out Let me put our one and a half guard on right underneath where we left off at with the two. And now we got our one guard all the way open. Halfway. And lever all the way close. Now we come in with our uh, half guard all the way open. Closed. Just doing detail work. No guard all the way open with the corner of the blade. Detailing some more. Now we're going to go on to the neck taper. Our first initial guide on is the ball line. Then our lever is halfway open. Lever all the way closed. We got our one guard on all the way closed. Half guard closed. No guard all the way open. Just doing detail work. Now we got our one and a half guard on close, running out the bulk of the hair. We didn't use the two on the neck taper because it wasn't really necessary back here. I'm going to go ahead and put my one guard on all the way open. Halfway. Lever closed. And then we got our half guard all the way open. And as you can see, I'm stretching the skin so I can get up in that crease of his neck area. Close the lever. And in order to get up there to blend that hair inside of that crease out, you have to stretch the skin or they just won't be cut at all. No guard, lever all the way open, just using the corner trying to get some detail work in. Lever halfway. And then in order to lay this hair down, we're going to go in with our Nairobi wrapping lotion. 
We're just gonna spread it all evenly throughout the hair and then we're gonna brush it in and lay them waves down. Now I'm using my Tresemme hole spray and spraying a line and just a light film on top of the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and put my do-rag on and lay that head down and let it dry with the do-rag on. And then we're just gonna go ahead and he wants a shadow, uh, a light shadow on his face. And as you can see, his beard grows in multiple different directions. So you have to cut against the grain in every direction so the hair is even. Now I blend out that, that uh, get a little beard taper in, lever all the way open halfway and then close. And same thing to the other side, we're going to lay it down. taper out the top of that beard now we're going to go ahead and put a, a line on the bottom and then we're going to use the razor to hit the top of the beard Keeping that, that uh, shape up right there on the jawline. I ain't going out with the clean, crisp razor work. And I don't use the trimmers on the top of the face because I feel like I have more control over where the line is going to be when I'm only using the razor. This shape up and as you can see he's receding real bad in his corners we're going to start from the middle and work our way to the weak side and match the weak side with the strong side constantly keep brushing that hairline down every time you cut it so that way when he goes home and he brushes his own hair, his hairline stays in the same spot. 
and take your time with these shape ups man take a step back and see where your line is at As you can see, we're not digging up into that corner. Just keeping that line consistent all the way across. It's a clean shape up, clean temp, sharp lines. We ain't dig up into his receiving spots. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get some razor work now. Details matter, man. That's how my man came in the shop looking crazy, looking like a gorilla, looking just off the wall. And that's how he left. Spiffy, sharp lines, blurry temp. I mean, head laid down. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know if I could have did something better, what you would have wanted to see on this haircut, what y'all want to see in the future. Tap in with me, man. It's new content coming for y'all every week. And here goes some stale shots just for y'all to catch a glimpse to really admire this work right here, man. Like I said, man, let me know what y'all want to see in the future. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy J Reds above, and I'm signing out.